In this video, we're going to look at how you can create a resume using Canva. So this is a very quick and easy way if you want to do a new resume design for getting a new job. So once you're on the Canva dashboard and you are signed in, if you go to the templates on the left navigation, you will be presented with a list of different templates that you can create using Canva. So in here, there are lots of different things, but notably here we have the resumes at the top. Um, you can also search using the search box at the top of the page, but if we just click on the resume templates, now we can see a whole list of different template designs. So we have more than 8,000 templates for us to choose from. So it just makes it easy if you have creator, uh, creative block and you don't really know how to design a template um, for a resume. So this is a very easy way to do this. So we simply just find one of these templates that we're happy to use. You will notice that some of these templates have a paid symbol at the bottom right. So this means that some of the elements within this design are paid. Now this can be simply just these small graphics and that's normally the case. And if you go ahead and delete those from within the template, then you can download as normal. But some of these little things make the designs unique and make them interesting. So um, it's good to have those in there anyway, but there are lots of different designs here to choose from. So even if you're just looking for a free design, um, there are plenty here to choose from. So I'm going to pick one and then we will modify it. And then finally, after that, then we will download it just to see how it looks. So I will pick this one. I think it looks quite interesting. It's kind of unique. Um, so we'll open this one up. Now it does say that there are paid elements, but I think we can probably remove those if necessary. So in this case, I think the paid element, the first paid element I see is the photograph. Now we're going to remove that anyway, that template photograph stock image. Um, so we'll delete this. So let's delete this photo. And once you do that, we can see that there's this placeholder where we can drop our own photo into. Um, as an example, I'm just going to use a photo here. So I'll use a custom photo or a stock photo from Canvas library. So I'll search and I'm just going to use a example image here. So you could some could use something a bit like this, like a professional photo. And once we drop that in, then we can adjust it by double clicking on it and dragging the little handlebars at the, the corners. So I think it looks pretty good. Um, let's modify a few details here just to show. So we can change the name. Uh, we can change any text on this page. So let's make a fake name. And again, you can change any of this body text. So change the different uh, job experience or the awards or your skill set names. Any of this can be modified. And we can even drag the little handle here to change this uh, blue bar. Now you probably need to zoom in to do this more accurately, but I'm just going to do this very quickly just to show you. So you can add your own email, phone number, and all of these details. At the top, we can change different colors and things here. And of course, you would need to change your signature and that cover letter. So the second page appears to be like a cover letter. Again, that's completely optional. You could just use the first page if you wanted to. We can modify the colors at the top just by clicking on it and then changing the colors. So everything's very easy to tweak to your own uh, preference. So once we've done that, we can download this file. So we click the share icon at the top right, and then we click on the download button. And by default, it will show a PNG file, so that's an image file, but I think really you'll want to be using a PDF file when you are doing this kind of work. So we'll choose a standard PDF, and we'll download both pages. So that is complete. So let's open it up and see how this looks. So I think it looks very good actually and very fast to modify this and do all of the things you need to do. Very simple, very clean, 
Um, I think it's a good option if you want to create a PDF for your resume. So hopefully you guys have found this video helpful. Uh, if you have liked this video, make sure to give a like and subscribe to the channel for more tutorials like this in the future. So that's it for this video and I will see you guys in the next one.